Peace, family. Today's video is going to be uh, short and sweet. It's going to be speaking on, you know, you defining yourself as a God. Then you must be God-like. This video is going to be on that. How's everyone doing? <clears throat> okay. So once again, how's everyone doing? Today's video is going to be speaking on the simple idea, if you define yourself as a God, then you must be God-like at all times. Not sometimes, not Monday through Thursday, all the time. We must understand that when you say you are a God, you are defining your state of mind. You are defining your degree of awareness of self. You are saying that you are a creator, thus defining your essence, your purpose, your point. So if you're saying you are a God, and I'm saying you must be God-like. Well, to be like God is defining the creation, the byproduct, the likeness of creation, or I'm sorry, the creator. So then you are saying or gravitating to you being the creation or the likeness of the creator. So listen, I'm saying that you are then defining your own creation. When you then say that you are a God, when you say that you are a creator, you are then saying that you are defining your creation. All right, this gets deep. We are entering an age of, in essence, darkness. In essence, uh, a time that can seem uncomfortable. A time that can seem almost scary. But I need you to understand that if you are defining you are a God, you are defining that you are a creator, then you are not taking anything outside of self. And you are acknowledging self in this thing we call creation. Meaning if it's getting scary, deal with it. We can't be scared of self or self's creation. We can't deal with self as being the creator. This is important. It's important for you to define yourself and then live with the definition. We can't just define ourselves as male and then go wear dresses every day. We can't define ourselves as a boss, but have no business to own. So this is important. Yeah, we like to put on the suits. We like to wear the hats and wear the roles, but it's important for us to actually act out on these definitions or these roles or these characters we consider ourselves. <clears throat> Because it's a very interesting thing. You have to understand what we're dealing with. Energy. Neither created or destroyed. Transferred or transformed. I am telling you now that you have been a product of transformation. From one being to another. From one sperm cell to another cell. From one father to another father to another father. I need you to understand that this was your plight. This was your trek. So I like this song. Let's let's absorb what I said for a minute. Black bodies swinging in the southern. Strange fruit hanging from the poplar 
trees from the poplar trees. Strange seeds. Do y'all understand that? That is what we're defining and speaking on right now. The strange seeds, which would be us. That's going against the will. That's going against the will of time. That's going against Saturn. Remember, Saturn has to do with time. That's going against the will of time itself. Time, see, someone asked, there was like Q. So is every, is, 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 do you believe things being predetermined? I said everything is predetermined. That's called time. It is the fact that we influence time, that we speed up time, that we slow time down, that fucks time up. It can't ever define us. It don't know which way we go to go. Time be like, look, I'm going to make them go to work at 8 o'clock in the morning, and what happens? You get there at 8.15. This is humans. Robots don't do this. Old humans or old beings didn't do this. If you said I was going to be there at 8 o'clock, I was getting there at 8 o'clock. This is what makes us so special, though. So it's a pretty deep thing. So I'm going to then go into a... What up, blood? <laughs> I'm going to go into something a little deeper. All right. We're going to talk about the television. And I want you to understand that every time you see something on a screen, you're seeing something that is dead. It is no longer in existence. It is giving you, it's, it's no different than a star. See, but y'all not understanding how light goes. They tell you when you see the movements of the stars, you're seeing a delayed. What you see is not in real time. This is a fact. When you look at the cosmos and look up in the sky, what you see is a delay. You do not see real time. Same for movies. Same for this. There is a delay. What I'm saying is delayed and then it comes to you. But listen, this is what I'm saying. It's because it's processing through a system of death or a system of electrons. But anyway, let's just keep going. So I want you to understand that you as a creator, you as a God, this is you saying that you can define your own channel. So for example, if you're trying to express an emotion, you're watching television, okay? If you're trying to express an emotion, cue what you mean. Say, I want to express happiness. I'm not going to watch a fucking horror movie if I'm trying to express happiness. So if I'm trying to express happiness, I'm going to watch a comedy. That, so comedy is on channel one, okay? But then say I get bored of the comedy. I want to watch action. Action's on channel two, okay? You know what? I'm over action. I'm going to go into uh, love. Love's on channel three. All right, so just stay with me. So we got comedy, action, and love, all right? The dead does not have the ability to go through multiple channels, to go through multiple emotions. They are stuck to the channel. This is, this is what your celebrities are doing, man. They are sticking themselves to frequencies. This is evident. What about Urkel? Let's use, let's use, use that as an example. Uh, whatever his name is, but Urkel complained that he was never able to get other roles or other um, acting gigs because they stuck him into that position. They stuck him into that channel. They stuck him into that role. He was Urkel. And he can never resurrect. He could, and even in the show, they try to resurrect him as another character. But in our minds, he was Urkel. And this is, this is, this is so deep when you gravitate or associate, associate yourself to a channel, to a frequency, to an emotion so much you get stuck. And this is what the dead do. Ghosts, not just all the dead. Some dead transition. So I mean, so this, this video is really just trying to really go very concise. If you define yourself as a god, you define yourself as a creator, then please pay attention to your creation. And understand that your creation is defined by likeness, meaning your own likeness. So if we're building walls up around us, then this is a direct reflection of the blockages or walls that you feel you have within self. If we feel we are um, uh, not good enough for a fucking 10 bedroom house with, with 10 garages and things like that, this is how you're perceiving self. You don't feel like you're worthy of this, that you're not even capable of obtaining these things. So this is how you limit your own creation, even though you are the creator defining your own creation. 
So like I said, you can't just sit here and say that you're a God or define yourself as a God and not understanding that then gives you the ability to channel emotions. And then channeling these emotions allow you then to create a storyline. And then this storyline is something that others gravitate to, can relate to, can associate with. And then when others associate with your story, with your emotions, you then have what you would call um, gathered photons. This is essentially what our galaxy is in, in essence. It's the gathering of photons, the clustering of photons, the, clust the clustering of past emotions. Because the thing about what I'm saying is if they're gravitating to your emotions or your stories or your experiences, you had to write them down. You had to express them. You had to tell somebody, thus it being the past, thus it being a photon. So I explained how photons, neutrons, and electrons have to do with actually past, present, and future. But... uh. That's it. You know, I did a few videos. Well, this is the second video tonight, so I wasn't trying to go up here too long. But I just really wanted to be very concise, saying that it is important for us to not only define ourselves as a role, as a position, as a title, but actually truly live that role, live that position, live that title. Don't short yourself. Like I said, a lot of people out here claim that they bosses, but where are the businesses? A lot of these people claim that they're owners, but don't even own anything you know so i'm just saying be careful when we define ourselves as something because there's a lot of responsibility on that too because what you also have to understand is if you consider yourself a creator then people are willing to put blame on you that this is a deep thing that the problems and the issues that happen in life then become yours because you are defining yourself as the creator so then you are defining yourself as an energy source or source energy. Thus, beings who do not consider themselves source energy or an energy source are going to come to you. And then this is when you get upset that everyone's hitting you with their problems, issues, and worries. Well, you should have never defined yourself as a god if you weren't prepared for what comes with that.